Hey, here to talk about cask. Cask is a uh, basically makes safety helmets. They make a lot of different kind of helmets. They make bicycle helmets, equestrian helmets, uh, all kinds of stuff. But one of the things that they got going on here is we have the Zenith and then, then the Zenith X. Old, new. They look very much the same, but what I wanted to kind of go through is what the differences in these helmets are. And a lot of it you don't necessarily see right here because they appear to be a lot, but it, a lot of it's in the guts. So we're going to go through the guts of it, but you know, keep in mind Zenith above, so we, we basically have something that is rated uh, for falls where we're trying to protect our heads. Um, as you can see here, uh, when we kind of work in here, is that at face value, they kind of look very similar. There's some little bit of differences, but they really did nice this up. And so I'm gonna kind of go from one to the next. So the first thing that they did was we had this suspension which for a climbing helmet fit better than, in my opinion, than just about any other one on the market. And the reason that it did was, as we can see, this is kind of flexible, kind of moves down because again, we want that to go uh, farther down on our nape. The ratchet suspensions works really well. So now we move forward and as we can kind of see the way that this guy ratcheted versus the way that this guy actually ratchets. So we can see how when I go to put this on and I pull it down, I'm able to pull that down and ratchet in and into place and then put it on. And as we can see, this thing's, this thing's on, you know? So while it moves up and down, I've got it into a very comfortable, you know, I, I can wear this guy all day. So that is the, that's the first difference that they had is they, they kind of blew the suspension out of the water and it's a lot different. In talking to the reps about it, the difference between it is, is the traditional model was kind of more of a bicycle helmet. They went after equestri an equestrian helmet with this. So they took the science that they figure out in another industry and really kind of cooked it up into this guy. The next thing is uh, when we look at how uh, the, net, the uh, chin strap integrates, the chin strap before what well, didn't have kind of these keepers, so it kind of keeps it out of the way and it doesn't get in the way uh, of the suspension where before you kind of had, as we can kind of see, this could kind of get in the way. Um, again, these guys are rated for 10 years. So a lot of times the sticker price of a cask has everybody freaking out because it's, it's not that under $20 disposable hard hat. Well, we're talking about a 10 year investment. So if you're not willing to pay upfront to get 10 years of life out of a helmet, this guy's not for you. So again, when we get in there, well, if I have something for 10 years and I'm gonna put it on my head, it's gonna get nasty. I'm gonna need to change the guts out. So that's the next change that they did is when they have basically hygiene kits. So all this padding that's in here, when I go to pull it out, as you can see is it had Velcro. The problem was these little Velcro stickers would pull off and you would have to replace those. And it was kind of a pain in the ass. Um, now they've really done a good job. And as we can see here, see how that kind of pulls out. And then there's little basically uh, plastic button sets that set that into place. So once I put it in there and get it snapped into place, there you go. So we can change that out over time because again, we're wearing this every day and if we're doing our job, we're probably sweating and it's gonna get nasty and we're gonna need to replace it. The final thing is when we look, if you look in a car and you take the bumper off, there's this material in there that basically t absorbs energy. And that's what this black kind of styrofoamy plastic is and you're going to see that on any you know on a lot of helmets uh, to take some of that force out. What they did here is you can't really see it so we're going to we're going to get Fred to come over here and do kind of a close-up for us is that you actually have dual density so just like your gym shoes when you when you do your when you look at your gym shoes you have a dual density so there's that squishy material in the middle and then on the outside it's hard. So we have a density here and in here you can kind of see this other gray material that's a little spongier, not as hard as that outside. So that dual density foam is something that is an enhancement. And again, you, you don't see it at face value, but it increases the safety factors 
uh, the safety factor of the helmet. So as we look at this, we go, okay, what else changes about the helmet? Well, realistically, any of the stuff that you had for your old Zenith works on the new Zenith. Uh, the mo only minor change is that there is this little guy that pops off. So they, there is a helmet light that you can pop that out and put it put it in. The, the uh, final piece of it that sits there is as we look at the little ratchet wheel on the guy, notice how he's tiny. They went to a lot bigger, easier to locate. It's kind of got, you know, a little grippy to it. So once you get a hold of it to, you know, adjust that helmet on. So when we talk about price, there's not a very negligible price because it's going to come with a bag. They have deodorizers and everything. So you're going to get more of a kit. And we're only talking less than $5 more for the new versus the, the traditional helmet. So if you've never been a cask guy, it's time to start thinking about it. If you are a cask guy and it's getting to the end of the life on your existing helmet, you need to think about that guy. And if there's questions that you have for us, Quad City Safety is always here to help you out with your safety needs.